we saw what types we can use in order to represent integers. What kind of operations can we perform with integers? Well, as you would expect, we would like to be able to perform the usual operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The only thing that we need to be careful with with integers is the division operation. As we say, it is integer division. It is not the division that it does not behave the way that we would expect. For example, if we divide 10 by 5, the result that we will get if we run it, it will be 2. However, if we divide 3 by 2, the result we're going to get is going to be 1. And why is that? Because 3 by 2, both 3 and 2 are of int type, the division that is applied, the operation that is applied on those two uh, numbers will be an int division, so the result will also have to be of type int. So when we divide 3 by 2, the result is 1. Now if we take the remainder of the division, then we will also get the result, the, the remaining of the number. Similarly, if we divide 1 by 2, the result of the division will be 0. And here are a few more examples that may shed more light into our understanding. Note that in the same way that I have written a program here, just experimenting with different kind of operations, you can do the same thing in order to shed light into whatever uh, example might be puzzling in your mind. So we have our Emacs operator where we have through which we have written an integer operations file and inside that file we just have a main so we only have a program that where we are testing different kinds of operations variable a is the sum of 3 and 4 variable b we are subtracting 9 from 4 and variable c starts with uh, dealing with division Note what, that with 3 plus 4, there is nothing uh, surprising. We do expect to get 7. 4 minus 9, we do expect to see on our screen minus 5. And as you can see, here is where we are printing that result on the screen. However, with integer division, we might have surprises if we don't really understand what integer division is. We have two numbers of type int the operation, the division operation, will be of type int, the result will have to be of type int. And this is why we are also using the mod operation on the next line in order to find out what will be the remainder of the division. Without uh, saying anything more, let me just run the program that you see on your screen so that we can actually talk about the results. You see that I have already compiled it Let's run the program that we have. You see 3 plus 4 just gives us 7, 4 minus 9 gives us minus 5. Now the result of 5 divided by 7 is 0. And if we take the remainder of the division of 5 by 7, which we'll, we'll, we can do with the mod operation, then we do get 5, because this is the remainder of the division. Finally, just so that... Uh, I increase your uh, faith into the division operator. If the division is applied uh, between double numbers, between real numbers, then it does behave the way we would expect. So 4.5, for example, divided by 9 will give us 0.5. It will not give us 0. And this is because the operands of the division operator are of type double. Therefore, the result will also be of type double, and therefore we get the expected result.